Today we're discuss a product that a lot of people have reservations about, but when used properly, they can really benefit the car, and that's wheel spacers. Now let's first talk about why you would want wheel spacers on your car. There's a couple different reasons. The first one we're gonna discuss is for clearance issues. Say you have the wrong backspace wheel, they tuck in too far, you changed your brakes, they hit the brakes, they hit the splash shield. There's a bunch of reasons for fitment purposes while spacing the wheel out a little bit will make the car a lot better to drive. The next biggest reason is for aesthetics. A wider wheel looks better. Not everybody wants to run out and buy a set of 10 or 11 inch wide wheels, so putting a set of spacers on and taking the factory wheels and pushing them out a little bit make the car look a lot better. Now the next question a lot of people ask when it comes to wheel spacers, are they safe to use? And the answer is yes, if you use the proper spacers. It's like any other product for your car. There's gonna be high quality versions that work properly, and there'll be low quality generic versions you wanna stay away from. A good quality spacer is gonna be hub and lug centric. What that means is the spacer is specific to your lug pattern and the hub is specific to the hub on your vehicle so you get a nice tight fit. A loose fitting spacer can cause problems, but a hub or even a lug centric spacer is gonna fit properly and work properly on your Mustang. Well, the ones we have shown here are gonna be versions of a lug hub centric spacer. They're gonna fit your car properly. We'll also show you one that you probably wouldn't wanna use. Now this example of a wheel spacer that'll fit multiple lug patterns, but it's still lug centric and it is also hub centric. You want a wheel that has the proper edging that when it fits on, it fits snugly. We'll show you on the cover what we mean. Now when this spacer goes on, you see it lines up with the lugs and it also clears the hub. Now you will have a little bit of play, that's normal. But the generic spacers you put on, the ones you get a lot of auto parts stores, they're gonna have ovals instead of round holes. That makes them not lug centric. This style spacer is gonna fit the wheel properly, and when you tighten your wheel down, it's not gonna cause any kind of balance issues. Now here's an example of the generic spacers you really wanna stay away from. Notice the hub is huge, so it'll clear almost anything, and these holes are open. So when you put this on, you've got all kinds of movement on both the lug and the hub, making this an unsafe spacer for normal use. Another thing you have to consider is the wheel studs themselves. Now we have spacers that'll fit your 1965 through 2020 Mustang, starting as small as five millimeters and going up to an inch and a half. Now your normal spacers without studs, which will be this style spacer here, these are gonna be available in five millimeters up to an inch. But the larger ones, you're gonna have to change the studs. Now notice on the Cobra here, we have long studs. So we put on our spacer here, which is three quarters of an inch, and we put the spacer on, we have plenty of thread left. Now again, this car is equipped with a longer stud, so it is designed to use with a spacer because of our brake setup. Now, if this spacer was wide enough that it was out like this, it definitely wouldn't be safe for use. You know, a good rule of thumb is a half inch of visible thread through the wheel when you're putting it on. We'll put the wheel on and show you what we mean. As you can see, with our wheel on, we have way more than an inch. Now, if you know where to measure, put your lug nut on, try to get five, full turns. You can get five full turns hand tight before you put an impact on it, you're also good to go. Now here's a quarter inch spacer on the back of our Cobra. You can see with a quarter inch, we're really, really pushing the threads as far as safety. Let's take a look with a lug nut. three. So we're getting not even three full turns. So with a quarter inch spacer with this style lug, we would definitely want to put extended lugs on before we could use this kind of spacer. Like I mentioned before, the regular spacers that we offer are made of 6061 T6 aluminum. They're available in a five millimeter, which will be the smallest one. Again, if you need a little bit extra clearance, then you've got an eighth inch, quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, all the way up to a solid inch. Now again, a half inch, more than likely even, I'd say a quarter inch, is about as big as you're gonna get on the stock studs. Beyond that, you're gonna want longer studs to run the spacers. Now, if you wanna go bigger than an inch, that's when you get on the bolt-on spacers. We're gonna close up on these and discuss these next. Now, if you're really looking for clearance or an aggressive look, the bolt-on spacer is gonna be the way to go. Now, these are very, very popular with the late model crowd. The 20 and 25 millimeters are really, really popular. That's 550 Mustangs. And we saw a lot of these for the Focus and Fiesta guys as well. Now shown here is gonna be a one inch version and an inch and a half version. And what basically happens is you're gonna take this, put this on the factory studs, take the supplied lug nuts, and they're gonna go in here on the factory studs, which will basically bolt the spacer to your factory studs. Then your wheel goes on the threaded studs here with your factory lug nuts. 
Now when you bolt these on, you basically want to torque the nuts to your factory spec for your wheel lug nuts. Now in the case of the smaller spacer like this, the nuts are smaller. You want to get those to about 100 to 110 and you'll be fine. The larger ones like this, if you're going up to an inch and a half, you should be able to get to your factory spec. Now what are the dangers of running wheel spacers? Now, just like anything else, make sure you have the right equipment. You want your wheel spacer to be lug or hub centric or better off both so it fits the wheel properly. Stay away from the one size fits all spacers. The second is the studs. Now a lot of people fear with a spacer, spacer you're spacing the face of the wheel off and creating another shear point where the lug could actually break. If you've ever broken a stud, usually they break on the flat part of the wheel. Now by pushing that out, you could break on either side of the spacer and it causes additional strain. Now a way to get around that is by having proper studs on the car. That's why I mentioned having an ARP or a Moroso, a high quality longer stud. If you're running a small spacer like an eighth inch or a five millimeter, it's so small it won't be an issue. But once you get longer, you wanna make sure you have proper studs. Like you can see here on our race car, it's a requirement for a race car to have longer aftermarket studs because they are stronger. So if you are running a spacer, make sure if it's long enough, you have the proper high quality studs. Like I mentioned at the beginning, there's basically two reasons people use spacers. They use them to add clearance or they're adding them for cosmetics. Now clearance, you're usually gonna go with the smaller spacer that you can get away with. A cosmetic look, a lot of times you're gonna go with a larger spacer. Now if you are going for cosmetic look and you want the larger spacers, I would not suggest using them for a competition vehicle. If you're in a drag racing, autocross or drifting, it puts a lot of strain on those studs and because of the design of a spacer, the studs aren't gonna be as strong as a factory stud. So again, for competition, you stay away from them. But besides that, if you have the proper equipment, there's no reason not to use wheel spacers.